Lord Hargrave? Lady Malie, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Your lady wife said you could be found by the gardens. Ah. She'll have to advise Elise to be more discreet about my whereabouts. I've heard of your victory. We get to the alliances of the south of Dagami. Impressive, I must say, how you were able to stave off such a deadly force. If His Grace requests that I squash an army of traitorous savages who don't bow down to their rightful ruler, his bidding is done. True. However, these rumors included the tales of your forces seizing enemy weaponry and fortifications that were not reported back to the Crown upon your return. I'm sure you of all people know the importance of self-sustained power, Lady Meline. Our Grace the King, in his infinite wisdom, fails to realize the potential of loyalizing those who some would consider to be enemy. He believes that these people are nothing more than prisoners, but if you instill the right amount of fear, you'll find the loyalty of those you once considered enemies to be inspired. Perhaps, if you applied this mindset to your duties, you'd find yourself with more respect at court. Such an inspiring piece of advice, my lord. The sphere you speak of won't happen to have anything to do with the public executions of those who would bend their knee to you now, would it? We all make our own choices. I won't weep for those who fail to realize their choices lead to their own downfall. If you truly believe that these baseless rumors you speak of would make the king doubt my loyalty, you're more foolish than those I executed for daring to defy me. So your own private army serving out of fear, as well as your own bannermen. Tell me, Lord Hargrave, what do you plan to do with all of your soldiers and all of your ambition? Surely someone as well informed as yourself knows that I save such details for my allies. I find it humorous, Lady Meline, that you exhaust so much of your energy trying to question my fealty to his grace when you yourself have such a desire to seat your own house on the throne. It's just as you said, my lord, self-sustained power. Indeed. Your reputation for knowledge is truly a weapon of its own. Unfortunately, when you reach your hand out to cover so much ground, you can't help it when things start to fall through the cracks. For a man who is so practical in his approach, you surely do tend to mask your words. What I refer to is an interesting letter, intercepted by my wife, intended for you, but a plot to, shall I say, overthrow the current monarchy. Suffice to say, when I questioned your so-called informant about these doings, he was more than willing to reveal the name of your spy in my ranks at Dagami. You shouldn't worry. He at least had the loyalty to keep your name out of his mouth before I took his head. You intend to intimidate me with this information, you would do well to consider the consequences. As would you. If the word about your little plot to overthrow his grace became public knowledge, I think we both know what the result would be for you and your house. Though I do hope a lady of your reputation would try to speak yourself out of the manor. The king does love a good grovel. You would be wise to forget what you think you know, but perhaps I shall as well. I wish you well in your future endeavors, my lord. As do I. <laughs> 